I'm taking the Outlander to Humboldt Park to find out more about it and a historical landmark. Billy. Hi, Don. How are you? Oh, I'm great. <laughs> uh, this is some of the most beautiful green space in the city. I lived here over a decade and I love being back here. Beautiful Humboldt Park yeah. is 230 acres and you have a little bit of everything here. I mean, you have the flower garden, you have the boat house, you have the lily uh, pond here that was created by Jen Johnson. Very famous landscape architect who's done many of the parks in Chicago. And you also have the National Museum of Puerto Rican Arts and Culture. We are the only self-standing Puerto Rican museum in the United States. I would like to see the museum. Let me show you the National Puerto Rican Museum. Okay. Well, welcome to the National Puerto Rican Museum. Or do you mean Bienvenidos? Bienvenidos. So this was built in 1895 as horse stables. Had no plumbing, no electricity, so we had to put all of that into this place. Well, it's on the National Historical Registry, so we restored everything back to its original form. Blood, sweat, and tears looks beautiful. And yes. lots of galleries here. Can you show me some of them? Yes, let me show you one. Okay. The first gallery really hits you right away as being bright colors and very fun. This is beautiful art. Every year we have um, we display the art of a different city in, in the United States that has Puerto Rican population. You have even more galleries. Oh, here. yes, we do. All right, take me to some more art. All right, let's go. This is beautiful stuff. You could get a different vibe in this room versus the other room that we were in. So in this gallery, we always try to have an exhibit that comes directly from Puerto Rico. Uh, in this case, we have a theater group called Inoa Via Luz, and there wasn't any light. They t touch on all the social issues, but in a kind of creative circus style. And then I noticed there was a little shop uh, around the corner. Can we yes, see that? Yes, we do have a great gift shop. Okay, let's go see that. Right. How did this get started? So after the hurricane hit uh, Puerto Rico, we invested a lot of dollars, got a lot of donations in doing mission trips to Puerto Rico. At the end of it, we were still a museum and said, well, what can we do to help out the arts? So we decided to purchase all of our supplies from artisans, handmade, one-of-a-kind items from Puerto Rico. Give me an opportunity to shop, and I love it. But when it has meaning behind it, I love it even more. I love this ring. This is, like, gorgeous. Okay, well, hey, uh, get out your credit card machine. I'm, gonna... <laughs> I'm, I'm serious. I need to buy this right now this is so great between the nod that you give all the artists upstairs you know in the US the Puerto Rican artists that you showcase down here in this gallery all of this that you do to then donate to Puerto Rico this is just a magnificent place